All right, everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. Uh, we're still working on this air compressor today. Uh, getting ready to set it back in the corner, but before I do that, I've got a little part to add to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an automatic drain down here on the tank. This is an electric drain. So electrically operated you can set the uh, how, how long it stays open uh, or how long it stays or actually how long it stays on and all that how long it stays on and how often it opens that's what it is so this is uh, seconds and minutes so up to 45 minutes and you can keep it open up to 10 seconds so I got this on uh, Amazon and I wish I could tell you the name of it. I might, I've, I'll put a link in the des bottom of the description of where this is, or where I bought this, or who I bought this from. But this is all that's on the box. So, uh, I'm going to try it out. Now, this thing has a half inch pipe threads. And you see, it's, you can put it wherever you want it. But uh, it don't come with any instructions other than it does have an arrow you can see that arrow right there that's the flow so this one would go towards the tank and this is the discharge side I'm on the tank itself I'm going from uh, a quarter to three-eighths so that valve is a quarter and it turns into a three-eighths uh, straight elbow there and so I've got to go from three eighths to a half. Um, it does come with the outlet valve, so it does come with this. And so uh, it looks like it's threaded here. You can run a little hose. It also has a screen inside there with a shut manual shut off. But I want to keep my manual valve down here, so if something was to happen or. Um, I had to take this thing off. I wouldn't really necessarily have to drain the whole tank to do it. So I bought a, uh, a 3 8 hex nipple and I've got a half inch to 3 8 adapter. So this one should screw onto the 3 8 and then this should go into the valve body here. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I went ahead and I put the uh, the adapter onto this nipple. So I'm going to screw the nipple into the elbow here. Okay. Now I think we're going to have to tip this presser up a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's good right there. It's kind of got caught. So, hopefully I don't break this thing off when I get ready to uh, uh, slide it on back. You find the ring boy on here. The, the wind blowing outside. It's uh, ripping the plastic on this truck in here. There it is. So we just need to make sure we got it going on the right way. Yeah. So we're going to set it for, I don't know, a few seconds. Not every, I'm going to put it on max 45 minutes. Alright, so I got the tank pumped up, 
and looks like it's losing a little bit of air. Come down five pounds to sit here, so I don't know where it's losing it. But anyway, here's the drain set up down here. I'm gonna open this valve up. I'm gonna have to get down here and open this valve up. Sound like we got the leak. All right, so leak's fixed. I end up going back putting some uh, pipe compound on there, and the valve's open. Let's plug her up. See what she does. I'll try to get y'all in. The, try to film and do it at the same time. turn it down to just pop it you know me so uh anyway see if we did get some water out of there now I could put that uh could put this on here and direct that flow backwards I guess you know put it down there like that and blow it back that away but I think that'll work and uh yeah so what I'll probably end up doing is most time when I'm not using this compressor, I'm just going to unplug this. And uh, but hopefully this will keep it keep a lot of water out of the air. So when I get ready to run this cooler into it, uh, I'm going to just plumb it in after the tank here. So I'm going to be working on that, and I'll bring you back next video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and hit.